rifle as well? Oh, hello! Welcome! How's it going? My name is Narendus. I'm joined once again by Matt for a first time in a very long time. Uh, Matt, this is the round one of the North Conference playoffs, a matchup that we know of St. Louis University versus University of Wisconsin. Madison, it's been a while. How about how is it going? I'll run through the teams in a second. Yeah, it's been a while, but we're back at it again. It's been about, what, at this point it's been maybe half a year. Yeah, I think so. But you know, it feels like just yesterday, so it's fine. Actually, with the speed of the new year, I kind of just realized that it's March 19th, so um, six yeah, months kinda, feels definitely like yesterday. It's kind of crazy. But anyways, so, going into the teams today, right? Yeah, exactly. So on the side of University of Wisconsin-Madison, we have Poor Man's Rose in the top lane. Anderson Pack is their jungler. Uh, the real you know, one. Double, I need to double that check that, sorry. Um, Camp that Bush, their mid laner. The Earth Goes Smurf, which I think is an awesome name for ADC. And unambitious round of that on support. For the boys yes. blue, we have Vinyl in the top lane. Winnie, Winston, or um, whatever his in game yeah, name yeah. is right now. Uh, jungle. Strompus in the mid lane, Aaron ADC, and Sky Tech in the support role. Um, you want to kind of get us caught up with these uh, bands? Because I know we're kind of running through it as we do the intro as well. Um, not going to lie, don't understand the bands. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, Garen Band might be a target band. I feel like he only banned that if. Yes, the Camp That Bush. Only really good at that, right? Or no, I Camp That Bush is actually a Garen one trick. He plays uh, uh, First Strike Garen. Oh. Often goes Gale Force. Um, so that is a bit of a target ban. You know, I, I, I feel for the, the Gragas ban, but I'm not so sure about the Caitlyn Zaga. Oh, okay. I was thinking about what they were going to pick right there. Uh, like, P1 Dairy is not that bad, but P1 Jarvan is also just as good. Jarvan's just really good right now, of course. Really easy to play as well, so you don't really have to worry about piloting as much. Just always get to have that. It's like Orn duty, pretty much, for a top right. laner. You're on J4 duty today. Right, exactly. And, and, and you know, I was, I was about to say, don't see a ton of Anderson Pack J4 games, but it's 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 Jarvan. I mean, if a jungler can't play Jarvan, you know, what are we talking about? You, you can play Jarvan. Come on. Yeah. If you're a jungler, you can play Jarvan. Uh, we have the response with Thresh Aphelios. Always been a really powerful lane ever since Aphelios is released. But I think we're going to see support and AD pick right here on B2B3. We're going to see Zeri maybe... Gonna see the Lulu pick as well, I'm assuming. Yep. I was gonna say. It seems obvious we're gonna maybe see Jungle pick here on P3 unless they want to secure something for one of their solo lanes. We'll be blind, of course. They are hovering a few things. It feels like Jungle would make the most sense, though. Yeah, Vi gonna be, get picked. Still been really good ever since uh, preseason. Nobody knows why she hasn't got touched yet. Uh, yeah, that is maybe, a good question. Maybe Bounce team's messing up there. I don't know. But it doesn't matter now because we already picked it and it's already going to be a good pick, so it's fine. Final team seems to be very focused on supports these days. Uh, not sure if, I'm not sure why. Oh, speaking of, yeah. <laughs> one uh, of the Andy. crowd favorite supports, of course. Yeah, I think it's been ruining my solo queue games. I hate that. You know, I was, I was joking before the show about, um, you know, Annie mid and how mid lane is basically just support 2.0. And uh, you know, kind of like to see yeah. mid laners get the get the Annie, or if uh, if if gold making was actually feasible, I I could see just throwing it yeah. Dana down. I was gonna say the mid pill looked pretty open for a while, but we're seeing Annie and Cinder Bands come out. Mm -hmm. Notably, Vagar as well. Yeah, also Vagar. I forgot about Vagar. Oopsie. I mean, I got I guess Garrett as well, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's playing first try Garrett mid for some reason. I don't know why. Go off, I guess. But uh, seeing no Aesol ban yet, I think it's kind of huge. Aesol got a few hits in the recent patches, but I still think Aesol is really good, personally. We're going to see a Swain ban come out, though. You know, even d even if he has had a few nerfs, his wave clear, especially against Baron minions, it's so out of control that it's almost worthwhile anyway. You know, he doesn't have that issue with the Baron up cannon minion that that's so many other wave clear champions do. Yeah, that man's a big dragon. He does not care about your cannon minion. He will fly around the map and he will probably just queue you down with Rylize. And it's <laughs> kind of funny, honestly. Do, do you remember it. Banner cannons? Sadly, yeah. Yeah, that was a fun meta. Scion with Banner Nerve Command, get Baron, uh, get it on a cannon, and then just watch towers get three shot. I think I was playing support, and I think I built it as support too. 
Because was, there was just I built no it as jungle. Like, no so I mean, yeah. Waiting for this before pick. I think it's gonna be a little block coming out. Strompist. Nice. Always been a little block fan. I was kind of expecting a rise maybe because it's just a comfort pick for him. But sadly not. We're gonna see Shaco getting covered. Don't that seems like a bit of a bait. Truthfully. Yeah, definitely a bait. Uh, gonna see for some other stuff that's open. Of course, A still is still open. Maybe for just like a celerity pick or something like a Silas here, but it's never gonna go for the Anivia. Looking for a I little bit more zone control in these fights. Anivia I games think. recently. I mean, you know, I'm a big Anivia fan. Honestly. Yeah, I am too. I think you know, I really like her. Well She's she can be a little niche at times just because of the mobility. Mm -hmm. You know, it gets really hard in like side waves or side lanes rather. But I, I, I like her. She's one of my favorite champions. Um, right. Kind of in the same thing as the Aurelian Soul, which is just permanent wave clear. They're going to pick the, up the jacks here, but I feel like this kind of allows them. Oh, actually, I was going to say this maybe allows them to pick a AP top later, maybe? Uh, like a. Maybe like a Zach? But uh, that's maybe a spicy pick because instead they're going to go for the Pantheon. I haven't seen Pantheon top get played in a while, but I will enjoy seeing it, I bet, because that thing will try its best to kill, solo kill this Jackson lane, most likely. Right, and there's a ton of mobility on the side of Slew between the LeBlanc, Pantheon, and Thresh to kind of match up with Winnie in the jungle on the Vi. You know, if if, if Vi or, or Winnie wants to go for any invades, he's got a lot of backup, and there's not really as much mobility from the side of Michigan. I'm assuming that swaps have already gone through, and that's just a bug. Yeah, most likely. Because certainly, Anderson Unless... Pack is not playing Lulu Jungle. Oh, I mean, you never yeah. know. The, the pick might go off. That might go crazy. <laughs> well, but, you know, uh... I did see a, like, 20 and 0 Taric Jungle in Challenger the other day. That oh, was pretty yeah. fun to watch. Yeah, Light Rocket is insane. That guy is not a human, though. <laughs> oh, no, was it Light Rocket or was it somebody else? I don't remember. I just saw it on the stream. I'll say. try and figure it out. We're going to do a quick BRB until we get the game going. Matt, thank you for saying hi and being here. We'll see you and stream in just a few minutes.
I think we're back. I think we are back. Uh, we have no way to tell currently, we'll... but we are. I think we're back. <laughs> that's that's that was my moment of hesitation. Uh, theoretically, we're coming out of hibernation slumber onto summoner's Rift. There we go. Okay, just took staying it. Uh, welcome back. How is everyone doing? It's a it's a wonderful, fantabulous, frozen Sunday evening in St. Louis. There was actually snow yesterday evening. Oh, have four going down the spot side. Actually, it's gonna be five. They might catch out on a vicious here if they actually try to wrap around the left. I don't know if they got vision of it. They actually don't. They actually have the whole wrap around. This, this guy's dead. Scary. It's He's over. In trouble. Ne pops a oh. pop flash. Sky Tech does not have death not your death. sentence, uh, I think. Uh, and Trappist uh, does yeah. actually pick it up, though. Uh, he kind of ran the wrong way. I feel like he could have just run back into his base. Yeah, I think he was trying to run back into the Anivia there, just trying to get some sort of, like, I don't know. My, my dad's here. You can't hit me. I don't know. <laughs> Yep, like, I was honestly thinking it was going to kite left side. I think if he kites left side, he actually does just uh, live. Yeah, so. that's what I mean. Just kind of just back it up to the to the wall. But oh well. Unfortunately, first blood over to Strompist. Um, if we could switch the uh, positions of players when you get a second, um, have like you know jungle in there, spotsies. Um, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, a little bit of trade here in the top lane. You know, I usually play my uh, oh, first blood game, lethal, actually. Uh, but he does have the proc, but he actually, I think, started E instead of Q. Yeah, I think E starts probably the more safer bet in this lane, just because you just get to block so much damage between the Q and the E. Like, you get to block all the AAs between the Qs, pretty much. Right, yeah. Say. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's one more time, sorry, could we swap the Lulu and the Zeri? Oh, I know yeah. I'm needy. It's because I'm pretty. Pretty people are needy. It's just the way it is. Thank you very much. Perfect. Okay, so huge advantage here in the bot lane. Not even just from the kill, but from the pressure and the level two. And a bit of an all-in here on Aaron's Impact. The Ignite does go down. I don't know if Aaron has the damage just yet. Yeah, not but extremely yet. precarious here in the bot lane for Wisconsin. Yeah, so we're just kind of playing this matchup as you should. I think we're going to see a dive come out now. Yeah, we Winnie is Winnie here. Actually coming down. Three wave crash. Unambitious does not have flash. He does not have cleanse. He gets flayed. Flash out from Skytech. The kill does oh. go and oh. wow, the flash out from Winston. I thought that was going to be a trade kill. I think that was the like second a, kill on the game. That may have been a perfect flash, honestly. That might have been like a window of a few frames between the uh, tower hitting. But actually, we got to see J4 coming to the top side. Yeah, here's the response. Stun up on the vital. Wow, he actually makes it out with the jump onto Earth goes Smurf. He got stunned. What happened to the flag and drag, though? I think it might have been on, on cooldown or something like that, because no after flag, the stun, dude. he just kind of flashed it out. Oh, I got so scared for it. <laughs> I can't. I have no sound like Cloud Rock, and Trump I was like, what's happening? Under but, the tower. Ooh, do we, I wonder if Anivia actually has egg in this lane right now. I'm pretty sure they don't. It does have passive. Yeah, I think. But could get pumped here pretty soon. Let's see how aggressive Trump wants to play. Flash! Oh, wow! Not sure if that was a flash situation, but Flash is blown in the mid lane. Oh, but this again, is no flash. Oh, but this has got to be the response kill. Oh, but if he has Conqueror, he has like what? Ooh, oh, okay. Flash. Almost I was going to say, if you can get that Conqueror back. procced up in enough time, he can maybe get enough true damage off the Q to maybe try to get his passive to proc and right. maybe crit him. But instead, uh, yeah, it's going to be shoving up a little bit too much. I think he actually had to shove because his wave was kind of uh, screwed. So it kind of sucks, actually. But still, he had to assist early, so he does have a little bit of leverage in this lane still. And of course, he has a huge CS lead already. It's already like pretty much a whole two waves, which is insane to think about right now. But actually going to see three mid. If that bush does not have flash, he doesn't have passive either. Skytech and Winnie are both here. Does anyone get on him, though? The death sentence goes a little bit wide. This should just be a rundown kill, though, for Winnie. His second of the game, third overall. 100% kill participation for the jungler. Best <laughs> best situation to be in in a Vi when you essentially just turn into an R-Bot in a few minutes. Yeah, as soon as you can get, like, uh... I always forget the name, but it's just, uh... It's Grief Wounds, but it's the tank one. Right, <laughs> the, yeah. The Gunblade, oh, not Gunblade, uh... Chain, saw, chainsaw Blade chainsaw, thing. Chain, chain, the Chainsaw Man chem, item, that one. Yeah. Chemtech Chain... That one. Saw. 
Yeah, once you can build that, you're pretty much just good to go. Maybe you get your mythic. Sure. Why not? May as yeah, well, we'll, yeah, we'll have to see. Gold. I think Caulfield builds into both of them, right? Yeah. I wait to see, though. Slew just continuing to be as aggressive as he can be in this bot lane, just to try to emphasize his speed. Terry getting behind in that lane is actually so huge, because that's your only real way out of the lane, because Lulu getting any gold really doesn't matter. Right. And the pressure is spilling over. You know, we saw the gank in the mid lane. We now see the Drake going over to Slu. And a lot of that is just to the, the, the huge advantage in this bot lane. And not really just in the CS or the, or the KDA. Oh, the catch the, oh, oh, there is the hook. He does have flag and drag, though, and flash. And he's just going to walk it out. But that's burn flash on your jungler that's trying to bail this bot lane out. And he's getting caught himself. They actually might just go for the 3v4. Oh, no, I think it's going to be a 4 now because I think Strop is actually also moved here. Might see a dive, but we're going to see how this plays out. Might just be playing it slow right now. It's a bit ambitious. Yeah. Zeri like actually did just out. pop cleanse. Oh, I think uh, maybe Thresh actually did get a hook there. So, uh, easy cleanse. Yeah. If I am my, uh, if I'm on AD, I'm going to hit my Borolytics tab. I'm going to click the, uh, Lens cooldown and then put it in chat. <laughs> it does that? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. I, I recently discovered face check. That's been um, kind of yeah, broken. I'm, yeah, it's so good. That sends oh, good actually, wide, but the ignite drops down in the Anderson pack. Not a lot of damage on him just yet, but here comes Trompus. Here. Trompus it has matter. flash. Trompus has everything up. Another death on Unambitious. Do they go? For the second kill, I'm not sure they can. I think Emerson Pack makes a flash actually, forward yeah. from Strompus does pick it up. Now I'm kind of wishing that Strompus maybe had an early back and then TB back to lane with the Dark Seals because of how many kills he's been racking right. up this game so far. Yeah, no, I, I I I totally agree. I mean, he's you know he rushed lost chapter hard hard to blame that, but when a, when a game goes like this, ah, Ooh, it's, sadly, it's so juicy. I was hoping that he would see like maybe. Uh, there it is. Aiming at Ludens, but it seems like it's going to be working towards that Ludens and then also buying the Dark Seal, which is also really cool. But either way, I think LeBlanc, LeBlanc's already a huge presence on this map, even in this first seven minutes alone. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, doesn't have the 100% kill for Deus Patient. In fact, that actually is on no one anymore, but he has made, what, two or three roams to the bot lane now? Yeah. Or bot side of the map, rather, including you know the, the, the red buff area in the jungle. Uh, it's it's already closing in pretty rapidly. I'd like to see a Rift Herald here, but uh, from Southern Wisconsin, how, you know, how do they how do they slow this down? Oh, they're actually could be a gank at the top. To actually, this. I think if you E, maybe get out of this. Oh, but no, he barely was actually out of turret range with that flag and drag. I think it was pretty much on the border of it. I bet. But here comes Vinny as well. But Strawberry actually catches out Anderson Pack, and here comes Skytech. Oh, the death oh. sentence does land. Skytech on point so far. They should be able to pick up this kill. Now, is there a response from Kanta Bush? No, I think he probably thinks it's a little too dangerous to go any further, especially with how low Urko Smurf is right now. And actually with Winnie in the uh in the wings. Yeah, I knew that was just clean as heck. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like every time I'm seeing Skytech right now, he's just hitting <laughs> these hooks. It's just one after the other. He will get the stun on his Trompus. I don't think he's going to have enough damage, though. He he, he kind of was in the same situation that Vada was just a few minutes ago, where his wave was kind of screwed, needed to push it up, and unfortunately, the flat oh. forward from Aaron picks it up. You are never safe. Do not try to get him on bubble. Severum Burn takes it down, and that's going to be maybe another plate. But definitely the full kill credit going to Aaron. Yeah, I think it actually is going to be another play, which is, you know what? I'm not going to lie, kill. I think Lulu can solo kill. Uh, we'll see. The ignite goes down. Oh? And Ooh. he does pick it up. Yeah, I was going to say, Lulu probably has enough damage at level 5 to maybe do 300 damage, especially to an ADC. Can see Vinny maybe pick it up fight with poor man Rose. Leave the poor man alone. He's down 40 CS, man. Don't bully him too much. He has to pick up a kill and Ooh. an assist as well. Oh. Are they gonna look for the dive in the top lane? When he does have, no, I gotta see the TP come out. Sadly, uh, Rift Herald in the top side. is the word that I was looking for. Oh yeah, I think Harold does come out in about uh, five minutes, so we got some time. I think it's currently on. Yeah, no, it is still currently on 
Diddy. I'm assuming mm. that he might just try to use a bot side after they do crack open this tier 1. Just try to get the tier 2 immediately after. But we're going to see Skytech again just constantly going on the Zeri. Oh my gosh. And there's just no flash. It's probably just going to get picked up here. And that could be a Drake in just a few moments. We'll see if they want to drop the Herald. Finish this off. Or just, just brute force down the last plate. That'll be all five plates for the slew bot lane. Oh, is it R? Okay. Uh, Winnie might have griefed it a little bit there. And does get taken down. Shutdown goes to camp that bush. Now Sky Tech in a little bit of trouble. Aaron is here, gets the root on to Earth, goes smart. Oh, but he has red. This could Where be a little bit. Oh, no. Compass just go. He was in, then he was out. And then it's a trade kill for Aaron again. A third kill, a triple oh. kill there for camp that bush. Getting this Anivia way back into this game. I got kind of yeah. confused. Trump is uh, uh, distorted in and then back over the wall again when I thought he could have engaged and maybe he just didn't think that it was a worth whole it. fight of misplays, it seems like. I feel like there was a little bit of miscommunication from Vinny and Eric, so I feel like they were actually trying to burst down the tower and then go for the fight, but then Winnie, it seems like, immediately found the angle. Okay, I thought they was going to get the egg pop. I guess not. But yeah, uh, yeah that it seemed like Strompus nice. was also... He, was, he definitely was in the fight, but I felt like he wasn't a huge factor, if you get what I'm saying. Right, no, I, I, I totally agree. He, you know, he, was, he couldn't get the the engage he was looking for, and I think by the time he was ready, there was too many deaths, and he just had to kind of walk it out. The Drake will still go the side of Slu. Uh, you know, I think a lot of it just comes down to the, to the despite that gold going over to Camp That Bush, there's still about a 3,000 gold lead here for the side of Slu. We're actually kind of peaking over to 4,000 at this point, so it's good to get you know some gold back but you can't just keep forcing fights over and over again yeah the only real diff here is honestly in the bot and top side everything else is kind of middling out especially after the fight because anivia is seemingly back in the game she has six dark harvest or dark seal stash dark harvest definitely would not be as strong I'm I'm see trouble here. he has well he had a three level lead on poor man rose for a second he now has a two level lead he still has a level lead on earth goes smurf he's gonna probably turn this around gets one flash out throws the spear picks it he's up that was a two. 2v1 poor man rose trying to get the stun under the tower without playing a little safe there i was gonna say waiting for maybe an empowered q to come out maybe a fast combo real quick I'm gonna see anivia and lulu walk up to this top side though just waiting for this pantheon maybe the oh maybe uh Alcove Gaming was not the play. No, it was not. They have him uh -oh. dotted out. Don't give the kill over. Oh, but here comes Vinny, actually. Though. He gets the E out. Oh, Winnie actually does turn him around. The wild growth. Oh, here it comes. On to Earth goes, or Pro Man Rose. Still fighting. Igniting oh. is vital. He goes down. Another kill there for Anderson Pack. Really not who you want to get on, but obviously with Slu collapsing, you just have to get the kill and get out. Lots of gold onto this support. Still Trump going. is looking for him. He does get the chain Next. out. He does Ooh. get the root out. He gets two chains chain as well. Two chains. It is. Rift Herald gets dropped. Camp that bush in some trouble. Oh, they actually, can just wait for the egg timer here and just actually get the tower pop. Probably egg get pop. I think that oh, never mind. Popped by, no uh, by Sky Tech. Yeah. Okay. Egg did pop. All overall, just really good for Slu back. It Making this gold lead about 6k again. I don't know if it was actually 6k before, but it definitely felt like it, I will say. Yeah, I think it was close to 4. It ballooned up to now 7.5 with uh, 12 plates being taken. If I can see mid lane correctly. Oh, that's a max Another range. from Sky Tech. And Strompus picks up his 7th of the game. He's got an almost fully stacked Dark Seal here. Unambitious has uh -oh. to immediately cleanse. Bottle does not have flat... Yeah. So I was gonna say Vital does not have flash, but I think unambitious it might be a little a little bit uh I think it's just now off cooldown. It looked like it was off cooldown for yeah. a second, but it might have just ticked over as you know, I was about to say he could just cleanse flash and walk it out with Vital no flash, but I think the timing was just off by a few seconds. Yeah, maybe if he ulted to try to get move speed in between. Mm. I don't know, maybe. I think you would have to pop everything there just because Pantheon can run you down right now. He does have ulti, and he did have the Empowered E, so he did have the boosted move speed just trying to run at you. Right, how he Bible actually did get that auto in the first used place. Used the ult yet? No, I don't okay. think so. Okay, interesting. No, uh, if anything, I probably used it to get back into lane because he still has TP up, if I were to guess. Because right, honestly, yeah. you, you don't really need to use it in the Jax lane. don't really need to use it if you're not looking for a roam at all. If you're playing solo lane Pantheon, your only real objective here is to absolutely bully the crap out of the top laner, and honestly, he did that, so... Yeah, no, he still has a three-level lead over Poor Man's Rose. 
despite actually quite a bit of jungle help, oh, and the root lands on poor on man's rose, but I don't know if Shrampus wants to go that yeah, deep. Yeah, no. There's a certain like amount of messing around and finding out. He maybe messed around Limit testing. almost too much. Thankfully, right. he did not find out. I see this did top the side rip tier two get dropped? Actually, or did it oh yeah, no, I got it. Uh, I got dropped top side earlier in the uh, right, right, right yeah, in that in that the, dive. Uh, right. Yeah, during the video sequence. Yeah. I remember. I was about to say, did it? Did it actually time out? That'd be really unfortunate. The second round Herald is up and available for Sloop. It's going to be kind of a wave clear game, but Strompa's flashing forward, trying to make sure that the wave clear, that the the stymieing doesn't happen. For Wisconsin just yet, Aaron in some trouble here. Skytech does actually oh. not need to bail him out as it just kind of flashes out. He's been um, hitting all of them. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> the one, wait the one minute. miss. Second Rift Herald will be going the way of Sloop because uh, Wisconsin is really in a, a tough place right now. It's only 15 minutes in the game. They can slow things down. They can get the wave clear in, but they also don't, outside of Anivia, have like insane wave clear. So it's kind yeah. of one person that's going to have to be rotating back and forth and back and forth. It's going to be a Nivea versus the world this game. Uh, I don't really see a way that they can really get back into it. I feel like Jax is way too far behind at this point. That man literally has 2.5 CS a second right now. Uh, it's tough, but you know what it is. Actually, I think we, I, I think we did actually get boosted up to three a minute now. So, bless up for getting there. But yeah, it's, it's, I think well, we're going to finally also get free. Mythic. So, well, unless, uh, oh no, he, has, he just has to buy Mythic, right? We see something happen to the bot side, but he's Pantheon. He probably lives, right? Yeah. It's Battle Pantheon. should be fine here. Of course, oh, here comes Unambitious, around. though. They should be able to pick up this kill. And that is... Oh, a couple Where of on the queue there. Oh! But it should... Oh! I thought it was like... like oh, I thought, I thought he missed everything. It was just going to die. But we're going to trade a kill on the top side. But honestly, I think Wisconsin really likes this because actually they do get the Zarya on the board. Right. And no, I mean, the, the, the team behind always feels comfortable in trade situations. They'll pick up their first Drake of the game. That will actually slow down the Drake stacking. Is slow. I mean, we were looking at like a 23-minute Dragon Soul on this yeah. pace. So that actually does make a pretty big difference here for Wisconsin and I feel like Camp That Bush should be relatively comfortable clearing this top lane out. We'll have to see what the Rift Herald does. I think it is going to get dropped here. Oh. Instant Zonias. The hook does go wide for once but it's actually just too much damage. Lou's just kind of going for it right now. They don't care about the Drake at all. Camp That Bush goes down the third time. The Rift Herald has not been dropped. Unfortunately, Poor Man's Rose just kind of left out in no man's land. Promise picks up his 10th. He's 10-0 and three with a 13 KDA right now. Rift Herald should get dropped and I don't know if this is the end, but this is going to be a very crippling blow here that Slu is about to strike. Uh, honestly, I don't doubt it if it's the end. They're currently up 10K gold. Uh <laughs> This is definitely a 10k gold gap at about 18 minutes, and that Lulu just died. For yes, seemingly another, no reason. Another Skytech hook lands. Skytech just wants to kill all of them. He is ready to get into these playoffs, I fear. I'm interested that the Rift Tower wasn't dra dropped, but perhaps it's just to clear out this mid lane of the tier yeah. 2 and the tier maybe, 3. Maybe he wants the Dancing Rift Herald, and honestly, I, I do too, so. I'm here for it. It's a really nice touch. We actually might just see them try to A-ram it here. They definitely just have the ability to end the game. Strompus currently has too many items, uh, currently at two items at 18 minutes, but also technically three items because that is a 25 stack Magi's at mm -hmm. 18 minutes. Yeah, he has a finished Magi's. I don't really see that too often. Yeah, Rose, he's getting, getting some often. CS back, but he's in trouble. Winston is on him. I guess Winston didn't it back just yet, or he returned that rapidly and he is just trying to pick up this kill i don't think there's really much that poor man's rose can do he might be able to delay things for a little while but that only just means a little bit more like wave clear in the middle here sky tech looks for the hook he oh does my. land it again he don't Aaron miss his fourth and does miss, where's the rift turtle uh, there rift it is just okay. on top side i think that was actually on timer so gonna end up well but don't worry guys we are securing Zeri the red buff. We are going to win the game. It's fine. If we just get the red buff, we can win the fight versus Slu. Let's see how this red buff does come into play, because honestly, it could just change the tide of the game. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, uh, first Nexus Tower goes down. The second Nexus Tower goes down to the crash as well. It's going to be a full oh, fight no. here kill him. on the Slu. Let's see if they can pick up Vital. Oh, no! Oh my goodness, Earth goes Smurf. Earth goes dead, and the flash on the Winston 
picks up Unambitious, not just yet, but there's just not enough damage. I mean, it's a 13,000 gold lead right now. They're just kind of smacking them with their wallets at this point. It should be game here. Oh game my. one, that is. They're going to look for the dive. and the. This could have been sub-20, by the way, but thing. they're deciding to like, wait at Fountain. That's insane. No, they're not going to go for the dive. That, that will be the first game. It is best of five. So you're going to need two more wins for Slu, and there is turnaround potential for Madison, Wisconsin. But the first game, pretty off That'll the races out. pretty yeah. rapidly. I mean, it, the invade and it just bot lane never could really slow things down. Yeah, I feel like that was just all behind the grasp of uh, maybe that early int of running to the Anivia instead of actually running to your I, base. Yeah. Because after that, they kind of just focused down that bot lane super hard, and then it was just like, okay, we could probably just win the game with our LeBlanc being super ahead. Even if your Anivia is somewhat getting even to our mid laner, it doesn't really matter because you don't really have an ADC. So we all just win fights automatically because you have no peel. Right. That's fine. Well, we're going to see if Madison Wisconsin can pull things back in game two or if SLU can extend their lead right after this break. Don't touch your browser.
Hello, hello, and welcome back. My name is Narendis, joined by Matt once more. It's game number two. St. Louis University versus the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I said university twice really fast. How's it going, Matt? We're back at it. Maybe took a maybe a big break, but hopefully we used that break to look at the match and look at all the faults that we had, look at the replay, look it over. And hopefully now we will be a new team. We will be newly rejuvenated. And maybe we'll be fully pumped going into this next game. Maybe trying to make the upset possible. Or maybe Slu can just kind of hammer it down again. Yeah, I mean, they are absolutely the favorites. Not not even in a bias sense. The Slu just is the favorite in this matchup. They are looking for a 3-0. An upset, it would absolutely be. And actually, I think even just a 3-1, 3-2 would be quite an upset. And a good show from University of Wisconsin. Um, do you think uh, Coach Tsum of Slu has anything up his sleeve or it's just kind of business as usual well i think t is a very grumpy old man so probably <laughs> not but well, hopefully uh hopefully you know, as a maybe see some grumpy old man stuff. myself i can't i can't say anything i'm a i'm a little i'm a little old zoomer so i got my hands up i'm not the shooter so look at these bands though we did see a heimer band come out i'm not sure why we're seeing that maybe we saw uh Maybe on their bot side playing it, at least recently. I don't know. I actually haven't seen too much of uh, uh, Champ Diversity or their Champ Pool. Airtech does side. play quite a bit of Heimerdinger. Yeah. Um, I know it's a pretty strong pick. I don't necessarily know it's ban worthy. Um, yeah. Can I see the Bygar ban come out again, though? Just kind of. Kind of want to see. Get the you Garen. off the comfort pick, I guess. I, I really want to see the Bar Garen go through bans. I, mean, I would be interested to see. Especially what his build is, because in, in solo queue, it's the, the first strike into the Gale Fork. Yeah. Which is maybe I don't awesome. know if he would uh he would maybe switch it up, maybe. I don't know. So uh, you I, know, I think you uh, you might still go Gale Force, but you maybe diverge maybe a little bit less into crit and probably more into a little bit tankier so you can sustain fights a little bit better. Because well, of course they're all gonna be looking at you and they're gonna be like, oh, get the right. Garen, get the Garen, get the Garen. Yeah, of Instead course. Instead of like I mean, looking at the Garen and like solo queue, and you're like, okay, hopefully my top laner will just solo kill him. And then you see <laughs> your solo, like you solo laner get one taps by ignite R, and you're like, I'm sorry, I, I didn't trust you, and that's fine. But instead, we're gonna see these bands. Instead of talking about that champ, or not bands, uh, picks. We already see both bot lanes solidified. We saw B1 Zaya immediately get answered by Thresh and failures again. We saw how dominant it was last game from Sky Tech. We're going to see the running back yet again. But we're instead going to see the Zyra Khan picked up for this Wisconsin Madison bot side, which is, of course, something always good to go like fall back onto just because it's been meta for how many ever years, like way back then. If you if you could play it then, you could probably just play it now, honestly. Was it season 9? Yeah, this season 9 ish. Out? Or not season 9. It's probably like. Might season, season seven or eight at this yeah, point. Yeah, I think seven to like eight was a pretty good time for them. It's they the champs have been out for a very long time, even though they don't really seem like they have been. Ooh. You know, I think okay. it was 2019 when they had their world skins. Oh, true. Yeah, because it was uh, the IG skins, I think. Right. right. Yeah. We're gonna see another Swain band come out though, and these picks and bands. We did see the jungle picks get picked up though. We're gonna see Nocturne on the side of Wisconsin Madison, and we're gonna see Winnie get up on this Graves. Which is going to be an interesting pick because it's either going to go full damage or we're going to see a little bit of Negan come out. <laughs> I've never heard that reference, but I like it. Oh, you don't know about... Ne okay, so Negan's like a... It was a build that was popularized by... Uh, I think mostly by like LS and all of them. Mm -hmm. Where it's mostly just uh, sustained. Uh -huh. So you'd go like uh, either Shield Bow or Gold right. whichever you prefer, into whatever boots and then kind of just tank it up if not you try to sustain it up a little bit depending on what what the cop calls for i can see that actually that's kind of a cool build yeah it's really good i'm gonna see... target picks here cool. on his trompist with the rise and the leblanc bands this mid pool is completely kind of shut down aside from a soul if they want to pick my favorite dragon but uh or yeah or oriana or pretty much all of those i guess all the control mages are open true my fault besides rise but also the soul is open, but also notably, literally every single top champion is open right now. So they have like possibly best in slot top right now, which is really good to see if you're on the side of Wisconsin-Madison. 
we might see that paired up they were actually hovering the a so i would love to see that actually come out maybe a gp here for uh, their top side as well but instead we're gonna go back up to the nivia kind of knowing that it had so much comfort last game we also even saw it maybe pop off if they actually had a chance to try to uh, switch the tide of the game after that uh three kills that they got in that one sequence but now we're gonna see also a huge pickup here i think gp is going to switch these tides of this game a lot more than last Another Pantheon, though, that's actually kind of scary for the GP. Yeah, Pantheon is uh, not a preferable lane, just because it's always just like a brawl lane. But instead, GP can always just kind of sit back always and just boom, boom, the minions every time. So, like how old Vladimir was with how people ha tell you like how to play Vladimir. They're just like, oh, dude, just last hit with you. Well, I mean, that's how I play Vladimir. I mean... <laughs> Amen. You don't want to see me play Vatiman. You want to see Poor Man's Rose play GP versus Pantheon. We'll see how it goes. Game two of Slu versus University of Wisconsin at Madison after this short word from our uh, sponsors, so to speak.
surprisingly. I think we're back, actually. I think we are. Um, yeah. I, I just happened to a see A little bit that... of March Madness talk. Don't worry, guys. We, yeah, Look at your brackets. Definitely not looking at March Madness brackets. Uh, this is a different type of collegiate bracket. We have a 5v5 in the bot lane. I want to see it. I just want to see a fight. I don't really care if it's worthwhile or not. Maybe we see be them awesome. try to face check this tribush. They do know they're coming in. They could actually wrap around to the red bush and be ready for it. It is warded. But instead, they're trying to look for them just right here. Here they come. Oh! oh! From camp, that bush picks up too easily. Anderson pack off to the races again with the kill. Vital might be in trouble here. The stun might come out once again. That's the third kill. Absolute disaster for Slu. That is what happens when you walk on a ward in Tribush. That was just really well played by, or I guess, good scouting. That is from Manis from Wisconsin Madison. Yeah, they definitely used that time in that uh, little break there to say, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna shoot for it, and we're gonna go for it. We're gonna we're gonna go for the five v five. If they're gonna keep going down here, may as well try to contest. We're gonna see Aaron actually come up here a little bit too aggressively. Might see Skytech actually go for the flash hook though. Here comes Winston. I think they just wanted to try and get unambitious down. He does have a lot more health to flash out. Ambitious does have the flash. Oh! Picked up by Aaron, a nice return there. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Poor Man's Rose did go cannon or barrels first. It did not go Q, which means that the laning process is going to be a little bit rough. And that will also force the Earth Goes Smurf into potentially kind of a split map situation. We'll see what he wants to do. Yeah, we do see Aaron getting a really, really bad batch, though, because we're going to see him reset for the dagger off that kill, but that's also just because he could not stay in that lane for so long. So now they're going to have to try to maybe even play this lane to say, like, okay, let's have it freeze for a little bit before we actually start, or I'm going to try to just shove it immediately, or immediately, rather. Unambitious does not have any sums, again, for the second time to start lane phase. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, too. We also saw Winnie also pop flash, despite actually dying as well. Yeah, I think he tried his flash out. Um, ooh, a nice death sentence. But that's level two there for Anderson Pack. Oh, but that, uh, the battle in. dance goes in. The flake comes out as well. But both ADCs are level one and yeah. just kind of auto attacking. Both of these ADCs are not champions until at least level two because the way their kits are designed. So not yeah, really a lot to go there. Attack right now, but we're gonna see Sky Tech also getting. Another chance, maybe you have a window for a hook. This huge area right now in that bot side, I just allowed by those minions just sitting there. Gives them so much space in that lane to just play as pretty much as free as they want. Because if Zaya tries to go for the fight, they can just easily flip it because, you know, they have no sums. The only sum that they really do have is the Kron Flash, so. But despite that, this top side's gonna get shoved in a little bit. Let's try to get the reset. Gonna maybe even, I would just say, yeah, just cue the back. Yeah, gotta cue it. Hopefully, get the Vital's the only person on Slew that has Flash, so at least he can play a little bit further in his lane. Yeah. I was, <laughs> um, thinking, uh, I was thinking maybe he just shoves that for a cheater back, but it seems like not going to be the case. You're going to see Ignite get popped as well as the passive, going to be burning that HP like it's no tomorrow, even with the Corrupting Pot as well, just to add on even more. How do you feel about the Ignite Gangplank into uh, the... Uh, yeah, I'm getting a little shocked have... here because we got a fight here in the bot lane. Earth goes Smurf is trying to find something, but he's just, he's kind of on a ward. He's kind of in trouble now. He does have flash. Chi Tech gets the play. He gets oh oh the root a little miss time there. Yeah, Earth goes Smurf goes out with the flash. Just barely missed that hook. If it was uh, Nautilus, that probably does hit hit because <laughs> umbrella hooks you can never doubt them. Only thing worse is a fizzle. True. Because it's, it just gets bigger. It's a lie. It's always just going to go in the entire map. So I don't know why they try to do the indicator on it. It's always going to hit. I don't know why they, they lie to you like that. Just like with not Q, it will always hit you no matter what. That is a true fact. If you ever saw me miss a not Q, uh, no, you didn't. Anyways, we're going to see this bot side. So probably just get shoved in. Looking for the reset just because of how much gold Aaron's currently sitting on. Yeah, actually, um, can you check Aaron's sums for me really quick? I want to see if he's able to buy um, yeah, he can get tier 2 the, boots. Or he's barely off. I think he's after this wave, he should be good. We're going to see a little bit of a... I think it's just going to be a trade ending up going on. 
Nothing else really happening though, just because junglers are just trying to get a little bit more clear. So they, or at least Winston's actually just trying to look for his first back at this point. Maybe after these Raptors. I guess we actually can't that. see the the secondary runes to see if he has the magical boots. And it's packing a little di di trouble oh, here. He, he gets rooted. Dies. He gets ignited. Okay. He does yeah. go down. That last shot from Aaron is enough plus the ignite. And Ambitious might be in some trouble here. It's not much of a way. They do though. have... Okay, he has blue gun. I think he's going to try to look for the dive here. They have to walk up here and try to contest this back, though, if they want to get this happening. There is the contest. Oh, here it comes. All right. Yeah, this is going to be Unambitious probably just falling here to either Winnie or... Yeah, just going to get another hook. It's too easy. It's too clean. Ooh, oh, it's never not mind. That clean, it's not so, It's Aaron not clean. Down. He kind of walked back in. I don't know if the tower aggro was still on him or not. Earth Ghost Smurf might be able to pick one up and trade. Not just yet. Stromp is trying to turn things around. Flashing forward is Camp That Bush. He hasn't picked one up just yet. Oh, but he, he finds the hook. Sentence. He gets knocked into the turret. Oh, he he's dead too. One kill, but he is gonna die. If they give us sure. oh, yeah. the kill, I feel like it's are gonna stromp us, but nonetheless. Still fighting, actually, as Anderson Pack kind of ready to go with Strompus, who is pretty low on mana. A little bit of a series of farces from both teams, but it kind of comes out even more or less. Probably a little bit of advantage, actually, for uh, uh, University of Wisconsin. Yeah, I would say that as well, just because having so much gold on this Anivia right now could be such a huge factor going into this mid and late game, just because of how well that they can just control the fight outright. You see that they don't have that much space control outside of from like the Talia in a fight and I guess uh Graves W if you want to count that besides that if you just kind of block off an area with R and W you can kind of just control a fight your way because you do have the GP you could easily just sway these fights with that also and the knockle it just seems like a recipe for hopefully something great yeah and I, I love global and semi-global alts I just feel like it changes the way that the game is played so much it they're really enjoyable to watch and i definitely love when they're kind of doubled up on actually both teams here with the pantheon with the gameplay uh and the two well the mid laner and the jungler um this should be a solo kill actually the going down to four. Oh, oh man's rose doesn't really want to go for it though i think he i was gonna say if he maybe walks up he could maybe get caught out by a wq and it could actually lead him to be in lethal that's Speaking of Leaf, though, Winston just barely misses on the ultimate, but he might be in trouble himself. He is level 6 to Earth Ghost Smurf level 5. Man, would this be a nice time to put yeah. on the darkness. But oh, unfortunately, no. He does, have a, he does have lethality. They actually could just go for this. Di oh, actually, never mind. I so lied. That is so cool. That was really cool <laughs> wave clear. Never mind. Yeah, player. that was just really clean. That, that probably was probably that was the them. cleanest barrel. Fighting the bot lane, but there actually now is a three-man versus three-man in the top lane. Camp That Bush and Strompus both have come top, trying to see what they can do. Now Camp That Bush does not have his passive. He gets jumped on by Vital. The oh, no, but they maybe were too late. Strompus is a little bit too late, taking a lot of damage. I don't know when he has damage. He actually... Oh, he's he, playing around he, the tower. Gonna go for it. He's just oh, going to go mind. for the kill. Picked up by Strompus. Now some trouble here in the bot lane. Definitely not. Not at all. Everyone's fine. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, but that's maybe not Anderson no Pack. I didn't say that. Um, instant flash out for Anderson Pack. There is some feathers that could be grabbed here. Feathers go. Oh, oh nice, nice flash. flash reset from Unambitious. It's not the kill just yet. He should get it. He cleanses. He gets out, but he is going to trade. That uh, stopwatch completely changed the play. That should have been a pretty free kill there for Unambitious. Yeah, that was actually two. Oh no, that was actually three flashes used in that little scuffle there. And this is going to be going into this uh, dragon fight most likely after they do rotate from this Herald. Because that's the only thing up on the map right now. So this fight could go pretty interestingly just considering that Strompus does have uh, flash. If they want to bring Pantheon down with an ulti, he also does have flash as well. Already a more, I guess, only, stable is uh, not the right word, but better game state for Wisconsin. Yeah, at least the, the ADC can actually play this game, thankfully. We're gonna see Tyler that a little bit of a It's stacked here for happening. Vital, but there's oh, the darkness. Just, do not try. Oh no, you are never safe whenever a knock comes in the game. You never know where he's at. Always have the deep ward just to figure out where he's at. You actually flashes, don't see any deep wards going. And the crash. Camp the Bush taking some damage here. Skytech is behind him. Oh no! Somehow and knocks him into the knockback. I don't know how Skytech was able to just walk through the entire jungle with no wards, no vision whatsoever. Anderson Pack probably should be able to slip his way out, but that might be the the uh, Drake going its way or just unambitious walking headlong into Winston. 
Sky Tech over the side. Aaron with the ultimate. Yeah, he finds the Anderson pack. Of the game. Every time. That hook he on Anderson a pack. Though. He can, you know, he, it's not the Lulu. He can walk it out. He wasn't even aiming for him, though. <laughs> he just hit it no matter what. He was trying to get the Nocturne. It's giving he's just, me. He's um, brainwashing people to land it through the hooks, man. I don't know what to Giving tell me, you. like, season 10 shady vibes. True. In, uh, in collegiate. I was gonna say like mad life, but then I'm actually showing my age. Oopsies. Well, I, I mean, I'm assuming trust. <laughs> it depends on, I guess, the uh, the league that we're talking about. Um, True. I remember when. Um, oh God, I don't remember his name anymore. Never mind. There goes the 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 reference. There's another hook for an on um, an ambitious rather. I was gonna for say. Sky there goes the. Do they want the... this tower? I actually forgot the word he already said. The reference, there we go. Yeah. So Missed the reference, land the hook. An ambitious but in maybe. trouble here. Flashing forward is Winston. He does have the ultimate. The feathers will fly. The roof Oh, but that's huge! Go, and that's actually a great trade kill, but the double kill will actually, two kills rather, going the side of Sleut. Still picking up a few kills here is unambitious, but he's just in oh, so no. much trouble. That hook, Why? I think, was blind. Uh, almost but here goes Earth second. goes Smurf. That's a trade kill, or once, or actually a cleanup kill for sure. Aaron has no mana. Let's see if he can just auto it down. Flashing out does pick up the kill onto Earth goes Smurf, and Camp that Bush had a flash as well. Everyone's completely out of mana except yeah, they for the can't mid laner really for Wisconsin. This, actually. Camp that Bush is actually super huge right now. They have no mana on either of their champions right now. It's kind of just a battle of auto the tack ing. Right. Still no Drake taken from either team. Yeah, we're 12 minutes in. Definitely a big change of pace from the uh, the ETA uh, 23 minutes soul we had last game. Yes. Yeah. No. Crazy. It was it was a very rapid potential. You know, of course, uh, Wisconsin was able to pick up a Drake. Although I think Slu just kind of traded it for map control, and then uh, I think the inhib in the top lane. Um, yeah, very different pace of the game. We so actually might far. see them go for this drag right now, though, just because of how much prio they. Oh, well, they don't really have prior of that Zaya. For some reason, I thought Zaya was red side. I was going to say, maybe they can try to look for it, though, because it seems like nothing else is really on the map that's worth taking, unless they do want to... Yeah, okay, it seems like they are actually rotating the bot side to the top side just to try to maybe get a few plates onto that Aphilius again, because if we do look at gold graphs right now, that gold graph is looking uh, maybe a little bit of a differential because that's 2.7... Oh, well, yeah, 2.7k. Yeah, pretty large lead there in the bot lane. Everything a little bit more equal here. Poor man's Rose, though, might uh -oh. have something. Aaron probably in trouble. Skytech is just gone. And will Aaron be able to oh, walk? Oh, it's out? red and white. Do we fight? So. It's red, red and white. Do we fight? Oh, we do. We do a little bit of fighting. Oh, and then uh, Wisconsin shouldn't be fighting. Um, draining kills back is slew. It looked pretty bad there for the bot lane, but very easy pickups and cleanups and three kills pretty easily going for the price of their bot lane but there's no objectives so it's kind of just an even trade on either side i mean do you feel like that's even or, or still the side of slew uh it's probably still on the side of slew just because of how much gold you're still funneling into your other champs i mean the kill on sky tech is always just kind of bad to feel but at the same time it's your support do you really care that much if he only has four deaths most likely not right but even outside of that, I think that fight was actually really well played from Aaron, just because of how well he could use red and white gun in that fight to try to stall it out before his team did come. Because if they didn't come in time, or if he didn't stall enough, then that fight was just going to be completely in the favor of uh, Wisconsin-Madison. Yeah, and that pretty could have easily been just a 2 for 0 or, or 2 for 1. Uh, 2, 4, and 9, though, on your on your thrust. That's not really that bad of a score. And actually, it could be another pickup here on to Strompus. Trade of kills so far. Aaron just kind of left free-firing as Irv goes Smurf, picks up a trade kill. Both uh -oh. mid laners dead, but it could be a little bit troublesome here as Skytech goes fishing. Winston's in base, so I can't imagine this goes too much further. He's still oh, in there. the face lantern. Though. And then the he hook! The hook after the lantern. Aaron picks up his eighth of the game. Skytech just in the face of the jungle AD of University of Wisconsin right now. I don't think this tower goes, uh, but it still will be a lot of damage for it. The trade tower, unambitious, should be able to walk this out unless Winston really wants to go for it. 
Another Skytech is actually here. There's a bit of damage, and the TP coming out. TP is camp that bush. Let's see if he can get here in time. Unambitious flashes around. One more, okay. It does get traded out. Skytech in some trouble now. The wall goes down. Camp that bush easily picks up this kill. Not even worried about it. On the other side of the map, Aaron, oh, I here comes vital. too soon. I absolutely cast her. Oh, but he killed the camp minion. That bush. He will get the kill eventually on to Skytech, but he's going to go down himself. Aaron also should go down. Strompus has respawned from the mid lane scuffle and this extremely extended fight was, uh, I think. Oh, I think we did see this guy. Two? Uh, yeah, okay. We're going to see a Skytech DC, but I think that was a three for two. But even then, even what happened in that fight, I got to ask Skytech. WHAT HAPPENED?! YOU KILLED A MINION! COME ON! I mean, so, you know, after you hit, like, 20 hooks in a row, you, you gotta... You gotta mess one up. You know, you gotta, you gotta look like a human, you can't look like you got the, the scripts on, you know? It's, it's gotta look normal, it's gotta look right, you can't be, uh... Well, mad life, actually. Uh, true, true, gotta, I, you know, gotta show it. Maybe, uh... Don't... I was just say like maybe it's like one of those random drug tests in the NFL. Like if they do like a random PC <laughs> swipe. I mean, you know, that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea for for the LCS. Although I think they use their own. Yeah, they use their own computers uh, yeah. so that nothing can happen. All the Alienware PCs. You know, of course we do have a quick pause uh, as Matt mentioned. Skytech I think just had a internet issue. Should be good to go here sooner rather than later. I really want to see some Drake stacking start to happen. Yeah, we're currently 15, or actually leading into 16 minutes in this game right now. We see four towers coming out, and one Herald, and surprisingly, just no dragons. Meanwhile, there's an objective bounty on the board, and they've had a little bit of pride on this bot side for a while, just because I feel like Unambitious, even with his items, can easily just, like, solo a level 1 Drake. Right, yeah. Feels well, like actually, he do Drake even... scale now, based on oh, time, I think they, or based I think on level? Do... I think they ba skill based on time as a put like where as I think it jungle is camps. time, but even then, like you're Zaya with one item, you should be fine. If anything, you just bring somebody with you, and if anything, they'll try to look bot. But I think you have enough peel with Zaya just to easily take it down, just because it is your AD, it's your main form of peel for the dragon, of course. Yeah, no, I think it's very takeable by all right, both teams, and of course, uh, Anivia on objectives is just kind of a joke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get them for free. They are. Hit R, you hit a W on wherever they're going to come in at. They only have one way to play the game. It's fine. Unless they do have the Blast Cone, then it's, well, maybe two well, you know. I definitely want to see Wisconsin look for it, though. I mean, it's been up for so long. They have, you know, a decent amount of control. Um, you know, not not the best. Obviously, that scuffle kind of happened in the bot lane. But I think that's more because of Unambitious being overextended rather than just trying to get some control. Yeah, we're going to lead into like three minutes into this pause right now. Just kind of waiting. We're kind of twiddling our thumbs right now. We can maybe look a little bit at the gold graphs while we Yeah, actually, uh, can are we waiting. switch to, to individual gold? I don't know gold? if we can do it while we're paused. Oh, no, we, we can. can. Look at that. Yippee. Cool. Yeah, so if we look at most of the gold differential here, of course, it's still on the bot side. And it's actually where most of this difference does come from. Just because there's only about a 6k gold diff in terms of this game right now. But all of that is seemingly stacked onto Aaron, so it's kind of just Aaron versus the world right now, because Anivia is seemingly just trying to get as far ahead as she can against this uh, Talia. Just because Earth goes to Earth is just seemingly always just going to R the Talia in fights, just to not give her any space. Right, just absolutely. Do not let her breathe at all, don't let her get an ult out, just so you can just kind of control the fight as well as you can, just because it's your only way to actually kind of control, like, terrain in a fight, kind of. Uh, kind of, but it's also just area control, just in general. Because without that, you only have Graves W, and you can't really play. Unless you really want to count, like... Are you really scared of Thresh Wall? I don't think so. Like... I feel like... like <laughs> I feel like God's Strongest Soldier can just walk through that Thresh Wall super easily yeah. right now. <laughs> it, it's, uh... How would you say it? Uh, an outdated ultimate, I guess? Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely outdated. <laughs> It's like old Mundo Ultimate, where it's just like, oh, my ultimate goes, oh, my HP go down, but my health go up. Yeah, it's, it, it, you know, Thresh is a great champion. I really love his kid. I really love uh, everything about him. But that ultimate might need some help here in the near future when we catch up some of the other other champions. It's they just, just buffed him, too. Why didn't they just give him a new ultimate? Like, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah. I, mean, that's like for, I think while we, while we figure out this break... 
We are going to take a quick break, throw it to the BRB. We'll be back as soon as the technical and internet difficulties are solidified. Alrighty, welcome back, everyone. Um, just some internet issues. Um, everybody has been writing up, so we should be ending the pause here in just a few seconds. Sorry about the break, but it's ob obviously we want everyone to be able to play the game. <laughs> Well, I got the reconnect. There we go. Okay, I was about to say, I got the reconnect notification. We are back in. Okay. Matt is of course, in the middle of the eating. reset of that fight, by the way. It's seeming like, it seemed like this is like a really dull point in the game right now. But actually, we just came off of a huge fight, so. Right. Kind of just in the reset period. It's kind of awkward to have the pause come back after the reset, because uh, we're probably going to be looking towards top side after that. But, uh. Will you say that? Oh, maybe, actually. Vital. But they're looking oh, like no. at <laughs> It was like. 
Yeah, I saw that for a second. He knew. He messed uh, up. Vital probably in some trouble here as Unambitious just fighting back. Picks up the shutdown. Um, that's actually kind of a nice pickup there. Does mean that the fight in the Rift Herald is going to be a little sketchy and uh, potentially a 4v4. Camp that bush trying to get there as fast as he can. But actually, the darkness does get popped. Winnie in some trouble. But Rift Ghost Smurf doesn't want to pop the second R2 just yet. I think actually he had it. Here comes Camp that bush on a ward. Gets hooked instantly by Ooh. Skytech. Flashing out. Aaron has restarted from the bottom lane of the fight. He's now red and white. Forward, not Skytech fight. and Strompus does not pick up a kill. It was looking so good. Oh, here he comes. And oh, buddy. Oh, the wait. Gets the double kill. Gets the triple kill. Gets shut down. But it will be enough to end the fight. Man, it was looking so good for Madison there for a second. And the fight just kind of goes um, Seemingly chest sleep, up. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, Aaron definitely just kind of kills everybody if it is uh, about two years ago, I fear. <laughs> but... Uh, or no, not two years ago. I think it was only a year ago at this point. Oh no, this is season. Yeah, no, uh, two years. My bad. My bad. I forgot my times for a second. I forgot I'm a boomer too. Yeah, I don't even know what day it is anymore at this point. Shop is clearing out the top side. Uh, top side wave. That's the second Rift Herald going the side of Slu this match. Still no right. Here comes Sky might be trouble. Sky Tech's here though. Does have the lantern in case Trompus needs it. Yeah, I was gonna say, if he can, I, like, I feel like every time I see Sky J on map right now, I'm just like, is the hook coming, or is it not coming right now? But well, he does like have 17 he assists. He's 19 of 23 kills. Oh, dude, that's that. Wait, that's actually an insane stat, because that's an yeah. assist a minute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he, he has been absolutely everywhere in pretty literally every fight. There's been a few kind of, like, random pickoffs here and there, but every fight has had sky tech involved it looks like when he's kind of wrapping around final probably in some trouble here smurf earth Ghost smurf uh -oh. has the ultimate instant tp feels like slew was kind of ready for this one let's he see if final can get out he flashes out it does get pop trump is here comes aaron here comes aaron here comes, aaron. Here comes sky tech here comes the damage as the cavalry from Slu finished things off, Camp That Bush does not have Flash. He lost it in the last fight. When he loses his not life, oh. no, he does get popped. Now unambitious in some trouble here. Finally, Skytech misses a hook, but it's just not enough. Aaron will pick up the okay, guy. Trumpus picks up the kill. <laughs> a little bit of a question sure with you. Go to. Yeah, I was going to say, but I think he had Flash, but I think he flashed in that moment. But either way, they are going to get such... A huge amount of gold off that is already 8k at 20 minutes. It was kind of like this last game, but uh, instead of uh, them instantly winning the game, they're in the position to win. Because, you know, they were literally just stalling at the start of the base last game. This game maybe take it a little bit more slow, play it a little bit more at our own pace, even though it seems like this pace is even more accelerated than last time, honestly. It's definitely sped up in the past few minutes since that kind of like that pre break fight that we had in the bot lane. I feel like his really ratcheted up the pace here final in some trouble actually he's 3v1 there's no way he makes it out of this it's just whether slew can do something on the rest of the map i getting caught out kind of time and time again here in both games yeah it's seeming like an off and on again situation but honestly it doesn't really matter when uh there's an affilios in your game and he's currently three items and he's looking down the barrel of the gun and saying this and nivia might just go bye bye yeah, 14 kills, 5 assists, essentially a kill and an assist a minute there for the ADC. Not the biggest issue that your top laner is, to be fair, 2-6-3, which isn't really a, a terrible KDA. It's just not an amazing KDA. Anderson Pack probably should get out of this. And oh, the hook actually goes on to Earth, goes Smurf. A little bit of a uh, fadeaway there from Skytech. Look, he might have thrown it onto the support. Strompus comes in here for the cleanup. Ooh, Aaron's ultimate. Oh, just a little bit wide. Just enough to save him, but I think Camp. Camp that bush kind of lost in no man's land. Can Winnie pick him up? I actually don't know if he can. Camp that bush does have TP, and it wouldn't have been canceled by anything other than Vital, who does come in with the ultimate. This top tier three, two, should also go down in an instant startup on the Baron. Yeah, Camp that bush maybe being a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of a Bill Murray fan with the way he was lost in that translation. But instead, I think they're just going to get this Baron going to okay. be a little bit quick one. A bit of we a got there, one. that reference. <laughs> yeah, I was um, like, of course, once way I could say this, and I forgot Bill Murray was a person. 
I feel like there was pings in the Drake. It's yeah, 21 minutes in pings. the game. Both Rift Heralds and the Baron have been picked up, and there's still no Drake, which is intriguing. Yeah. Because both teams could have picked multiple Drakes up at this point pretty freely. Yeah, I realize. Yeah, we're like 20 minutes into this game. Don't worry, guys. Uh, it is actually season nine. There are no elemental drakes, I fear. Oh, God, I wish. Or uh, Rift, uh, rather. Don't don't make me, don't make me excited. <laughs> You're getting giddy again. <gasps> season four dragon. Yippee! Good flash out from Camp Bad that. Push, but here comes the crash with the Baron buff as well. It looks like Slew is trying to do the no Drake take win, I guess. That may be a little um, bit of a speed run, maybe do no Drake percent. This is not a GDQ, <laughs> but it's seeming like it might just be one of their favorite things to watch in their past time with how quickly they are ending these games. It was like 20 minutes, and now we're ending up to be like... On pace for a 23 30, maybe 24 minute game. If they can get this wave into this tower, it's kind of depends on how Nidia can play this. Flash forward from Skytech actually picks up Camp That Bush. That's the entire wave clear essentially gone. Now it is on uh, Unambitious who has to cleanse immediately. The ultimate comes out of Earth Ghost Smurf. He's desperately trying to go in, but there's just not enough damage. Oh, but the Aaron gets burst. traded out. But it's 4v1, and the one is the Rakan. And it looked a little weird and hairy okay, there for a few that? minutes, but the past that? three or four minutes, pretty comfortable there for Slew. 2-0 for Slew and their coach, Tsum. We're going to throw it to a quick break after the pause, of course, and we're going to go into game number three, see if Slew can close it out 3-0, or if University of Wisconsin-Madison, excuse me, Wisconsin-Madison can pull back game number three. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, folks, to St. Louis University versus the University of Wisconsin Madison. It is the Ryan Collegiate League of Legends North Conference playoffs. We're in round one here. Two games up is SLU in this best of five, looking to close it out here in game number three. But Wisconsin Madison is going to try and turn things around if they so can. Again with the Garen Band. Really, I just kind of want to see it, man. I just want to see it so bad, but just like war, it never changes. It just never changes at all. We're going to see a Zaya Band come out, definitely showing. Oh, actually, this is actually not going to be respect at all. I think they, uh. They may have just self-reported. I feel like I the uh, Zion was actually going really well last game for University of Wisconsin Madison. I so agree. I'm kind of surprised to see the band come out. Maybe they fear that they're gonna maybe try to prio it. But even then, I feel like Aaron's been so well, like versed on all these other champions uh, within the series. Even though it's only been a Felios, but I feel like I've just seen him play so many other champs. So it doesn't really matter if you're trying to ban out just one of them. Maybe you're just trying to ban out the strongest one, I guess. But even then, it feels like this Felios is really hard to beat. Especially when we're showing no presence at all towards it until we finally get to the final band, which is finally off the table. So we're going to see something new, at least, in terms of these comps. Because I feel like if they're going to go for the Thresh pick, it's going to be on B1, just because of how strong it is right now. It feels like Oh, Sky there it is. Oh, but actually, we're going to see the Gragas. Uh, I don't know where this is going. Most likely, jungle, maybe? I know I've seen I mean, it have presence in jungle Four places, recently. basically. Yeah, it could go support, top, jungle, mid, technically. Bot lane, another story. Uh, don't do that. So here's the thing. The SLU support staff informed me that they would get Gragas every single game. Exceedingly disappointed in game one and two. Now we get to see the big man, the drinking man, in game number three. It will mean the Grays goes over to the side of Wisconsin-Madison. I will say you can definitely tell how swaggy the Gragas player is by the skin. <laughs> this is true, and it is factually proven. We're going to see a Thresh pick actually come on the red side here. We're going to see Thresh as well with Graves, actually. Pretty solid combo if he can get uh, the Graves to just keep coming bot side. But instead, we're going to see this Kindred come out for uh, Winston. Going to try to put a lot of pressure on this Graves when it does come to clearing, because he can just probably enter his jungle if he ever has, like, three-plus stacks. If he doesn't have Tabby's on the graves he could just probably kill him but we're actually going to be flexing into some pretty heavy ad here actually with this kindred and jace pick i feel like we're only leaving room for maybe uh maybe a tank top i don't know because it feels like that gragas is now slotted towards the support if not top side role so i feel like they're just gonna right. try to flex it out to see it through i feel like yeah, gragas top right now is good as well so. you can leave it for the flex i like the top uh, I, I mean, I like the Jason Gragas pickup together anyway. I think there's some serious power picks that okay. have weirdly been kind of untouched. I, obviously, Gragas has been banned a couple times, but Jace hasn't even been looked at We're, for either of these teams. I'm not sure if I agree with this pick on R3 here, surprisingly. Even though it's the Jace, so you do get the counter pick, I feel like we can maybe try to prio pick something else just because so much stuff is open right now. It's so strong. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of AD pinching here. Uh, you know, as you mentioned, I agree. Aaron is pretty proficient on a pretty large pool, uh, so I'd be more worried about uh, can't, getting the pool of um, excuse me, unambitious up. down. Yeah. As we see now, the fourth ADC band, and it's probably that just gonna is. be a few more of these. Yeah, we're gonna definitely just see a, maybe a fifth and a sixth one coming out, unless they are wanting to maybe pitch this top side a little bit. I don't know. If they are wanting to try to play for something like the Jags, like the Scion, maybe even a Shen pick. Maybe Camille, but I feel like Jax is open, so maybe not Camille. But also Cho'Gath is also still on the table. I don't know if any teams are actually currently playing Cho'Gath, but I seem to be really good, personally. I think it's extremely Lucian good. I'd like out, to see more Cho'Gath. But it's actually I, yeah. gonna be, oh, it's actually really smart uh, for Red Side, because this does uh, completely negate Lucian Nami now, which is good. Right. But we're still going to have the ability to have Nami in some fashion. But I feel like if you're playing Nami, you may as well just be playing Lulu at that point. If not, maybe even a Senna. Just to help you out a little bit. When you see this final AD ban, you'll yeah. see it be put onto the Varus. Hmm. So, uh... That's an interesting pick. Maybe just try to pinch out... Maybe just try to, like... 
Maybe Dairy they just like still OJ a lot, and they're just trying to squeeze as much out of the orange as <laughs> they can. Trying to get Dairy, the most value. not banned, interestingly enough, although that's a big pick for Unambitious. Obviously, he played it in this series, but he also just plays it a lot in general. Yeah. He's got quite a few games we can, uh, on We it. can see Zeri Yumi come out here, but I'm honestly looking to see a AP pick in some sort of fashion coming up from either uh, a solo lane topsider now, because or a uh, top lane solo laner now. That's just completely if the wrong words. But with, really with this many Kalista. bands, I, thought, I was wondering if it'd be Callista. Yeah, I feel like this fits the comp a little bit, but this is also letting us know that this Gragas topside is most likely going to be playing a little bit more towards the AP side of the game, because without it, I uh, I don't really see how you killed this Scion outside of, uh, I guess, like, you would probably just build Kraken on both ADs if you can't even, like, try to shut him down early. But we're going to see a Yasuo hover. I don't know if it's... Oh, it actually does get picked! <laughs> Where is this okay. going? It's actually going to be in the bot side, I think, to try to counter the Kalissa and Renata. This is actually yeah. a little bit of a spicy pick. I actually haven't seen Yasuo bot in a while either, so... I haven't seen it in a very long time. I love it with their Thresh. I love it with the Scion as well. Sadly, actually, no Graves Alistar. in a little bit uh, it works with it as well. Uh, this is a very interesting and, I mean, honestly, aggressive team comp coming out of side teams, of Wisconsin Madison. And, and yeah, both teams, you are right. The Gragas, Kendra, Jace, really big top side here for SLU. Um, I've been, actually, I was waiting for Gragas, Jace the whole time, and I'm glad that they finally got picked in in uh, the third game. I guess the SLU support staff doesn't really listen to me as much. But that's probably understandable. Uh, we're going to throw it to a break, see how Game 3 goes, if SLU can close it out, or if University of Wisconsin-Madison can start to make the turnaround. See you in a few moments.
Welcome, Biggity, back, everyone. My name's Arendus. With me is Matt. It's game number three of a Slu versus Wisconsin Madison. Very happy that Vinyl has picked Gragas Esquire as my, me, myself, am a soon to be Esquire. I like how he's just showing off for me, just specifically. Obviously, he knows. Five man top. It was 10 men bought. And Slu got uh, kind of. Punished for it, so let's see how this five man top goes. Yeah, Four man maybe throws. do a little bit of a coin flip on the other side. Gonna find out where the Scion is. Trying to uh, just kind of scout for right now. Uh, Camp that bush currently in the trenches. I fear with that ping. I I guess uh, I just saw the I just saw the pings. That definitely was going up to three hundred. I think the same thing was going for uh, yeah unambitious. Sadly, also yeah, whenever whenever you can some... change the change the uh, change the order whenever you can. Right. Um, also, uh, it, it looks like Slu has really learned from their previous game. As the, this time, they put a sweeper into their invade. Yeah, uh, uh, and can't one be going one in one there one. with five of those things. Definitely not the move. But uh, we're gonna see Anderson Pack actually do. It's kind of the uh, typical support thing that I see a lot of people doing now, which is actually I've also actually also been starting to do this, which is doing an early ward on the metal brush and then going for a sweeper early with relics right i usually do it whenever i play it with uh spell thieves champions honestly but okay yeah uh it feels like yeah i was a little worried about that uh multi hundred ping for several players on wisconsin unfortunately it's kind of ironic because uh the camp that bush i think called in chat he said 250 ping and then winston immediately said you know what playable <laughs> and then camp that bush was saying same i ain't no i can't say that word but he said ditto he said make me in the middle maybe a little bit of banter going on early between two of these teams that are seemingly having a banger series on hand on our hand well it's good to have fun of course it is still i mean as as competitive as it is it still is you know a game it is still to 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 enjoy to have fun to just kind of relax and you know kind of beat up on the enemy even if it's just verbally if you're not going to get some some kills and so I, I i thought there'd be a quicker one um ping down to 52 much more playable now battle's going to fight a little bit um we yes. see actually going for a first strike here yeah i was about to say a ton of uh actually gonna give up a ton of value but give him as much value as a castle minion actually a little Which bit more, two huge. gold more, actually. Oh yeah, actually, two gold more, so even more. And Winston going for the instant invade. He is aware that Aaron is a very proficient Callista player. Might have had a bit of a freeze here. We'll, we'll, we'll see yeah, if it we catches bet. up. Um, that being said, though, he, he knows there'll be priority in the bot lane. So at level two, first camp, he immediately jumped over. Drake Pitt goes for the invade, and Earth Ghost Smurf probably is completely unaware. Yeah, most likely. I feel like this might kind of feel bad for him, especially when he's doing this vertical jungle. But it feels like... I feel like maybe... Uh, let's say maybe could have just stayed in that bot side if they knew that Gragas was going to... Or not Gragas, but they knew that this Graves is actually going to be going for the vertical clear. But, oh, I think he may not actually... Not, might not be going for the vertical clear. Instead, actually trying to go for these wolves. And it seems like he actually does know. So he is waiting for it. He is on timer, he's waiting for him, he does have the sweep route. This is really smart from Winston, it seems like he's gonna get this kill as well, because this Q's gonna be off cooldown immediately, he actually just goes he for the flash. flashes and goes for it. Earth Ghost Smurf has some damage here though, who wins? Uh -oh. It is Winston, Win <laughs> Winnie played something really cute there, right before Earth Ghost Smurf gets on the timer, he marked uh, Poor Man's Rose, so it kind of looked like he, you know, he was doing the full clear, going up top and something like that, you know, I wonder if there was... Uh, communication. Aaron picks up kill in the bot side onto Anderson Pack, who doesn't have used flash or ignite. Kind of surprised what happened there. Oh, I just realized that was definitely in his own. I'm dumb. They're on red side. I thought Gra right. <laughs> Graves was on blue side for no, some no, reason. No, 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 no. I, I was like, wait a minute. He's purple clear. Okay, okay, sure. I'll just let it let you go. Uh, Battle in some trouble here. Cool. Can he get the trade kill though? It's 2v1, he doesn't have flash. He's gotta just kinda go for the kill, right? Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, have to go for the kill. trade kill, though. We're gonna see the, uh, the kill actually go on to Earth Go Smurf, which is uh, a lot more ideal in the scenario, but the sad thing is is that uh, Scion did not even get any KP for that. Oh, you're right. How is that? I guess I just because he was stunned and just died yeah, instantly? Yeah, I guess he was stunned. And I, uh, he couldn't get his... Uh... 
what, the zombie form out in time? I'm pretty sure it's right. zombie form. Yeah, the, the zombie form, I think Zoida was already dead by the time zombie even came up. Strombus with a little bit of a lead here. Nice trade there. Um, flash oh, forward, Titech Nick combo. dodges out the hook, but Aaron in some trouble. Ignite on to Aaron, the exhaust on Anubis. Oh, Anubis should pick this up, though. Okay, he has the reset, he pulls the E, but no, it's not enough damage. This is huge, uh, though, because it sounds like Somehow Calista. Winnie came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Seeming like everybody's going to be down in this boss side now. It's a huge, huge, huge fiasco going on right now. Huge fiasco, no Lupe, honestly. We're just even seeing Guy's it like no continue flash. even further. Oh, the hook goes wide, and the oh. flash is not enough when he picks up his third kill of the game. What was looking really nice for Wisconsin, that kind of goes wrong as the, the wrong person to have three early kills. Actually, yeah. we check stacks. I think he should be at two. Yeah, if this is two stacks right now on uh, Winnie, this is... Definitely seem to be a little bit of an easier game than you uh, normal because playing early game Kitchen when you have early stacks it just feels like you're on top of the world. It feels like you're space gliding, honestly. Oh, the flash out from Comp, the flash forward from Strompus. That should be a solo bolo in the mid lane. Is whether actually Aaron wants to just pick up an assist so here? Getting Aaron I think kill is actually will. so huge. Or no, Strompus actually does not have any gold right now. To yeah, Strompus is going to take the kill. Yeah, you know, now that, that I say kill. that. Uh, poor, poor man's rose is still marked, so I don't think Winnie yeah, has any dead. marks just yet. Yeah, um, this will yeah. be his first mark, I believe. Uh, well, I think he did get. Uh, I feel like he got the bot crab, so I think this should actually be two. But if not, uh, the crab up there should be two. We're gonna see a little bit of a scuffle going down to this bot side right now, and it seems well, like. Aaron oh, nice flash! Look, it's so beautiful. Picks up a pretty easy double kill, throwing. Throwing Wisconsin under the bus there, just absolutely immaculate mechanics from Aaron on this Callista pick. You cannot doubt this man's reaction time. Even with any collegiate ADC, you cannot just go for... I mean, like, you have like a 5% chance that you live that probably, so you kind of just have to go for the hook. But even then, you just got to swagger him a little bit for the one time, I guess. Aaron's man, that. seemingly always just a huge threat in these games. Aaron makes ADC look good in a meta that I don't really think would uh, typically belie that. Yeah. In a meta full of seemingly demonish little girls and dragons, we have several <laughs> people with guns killing them. Vital has found Camp That Bush, who does not have flash. Where's the empowered Boom. view from Strompus? He doesn't even need it. Oh, no. oh wait a minute. The we might have needed it. The beautiful, okay. but Vital throws out the, well, wine cask, I guess, in this time. Although, I, I, technically, that would be a Nebuchadnezzar, I believe. Um, the sizes of wine bottles gets really confusing really fast. There's like 20 of them. Um, 20? Yeah, there, there's a lot of different sizes of wine bottles. That's crazy. And they get to be like 30 gallons. 30? Oh my. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, sense. they get huge. They get like. Uh, I'm than thinking a human. like. I'm thinking. Oh, wait, hold on. There's actually going to be a little yeah, bit Strompus of a Yeah, Strompus in some bed. trouble here. Can he do a return kill? I don't think so. Just all the damage dumped on him. Unambitious picks up a pretty necessary kill there. Put him at 1, 2, 1. And production, uh, while there might be a small repass, can we check the stacks on Winnie really quickly? I, I believe. Clicking. Yeah, we can just he, click uh, him. I, I, think get the chance. I think he's at two, but he might be at three. I think he, uh, here, where's he at? He's probably at, no, actually. Vital he's in trouble again. It seems like, oh, poor man's Drew's actually getting the Q. Yeah, nice Q there. I, Vinyl does have Flash. I don't know if it's even going to be worth it, though. He doesn't have the cask or anything like that. Yeah, just probably better to just delay as long as possible. See if this Drake can go the side of Slu. Definitely just kind of... Uh, Maybe not a good kill per se, but a, a useful death rather. It's uh, as the boss would say, uh, you know, good death, good death, good death, uh, good death, good death. <laughs> uh, we get the we get the tower bots, it's fine, it's good death. And then you just you see Aaron actually just free farming these waves now, which is because how free of the, uh how freed up this lane is. Yeah, still haven't okay. even taken the rest of the tower, but he's been proxying for probably three or four waves at this point. He's looking on to unambitious. I don't know if he can just all on him just yet. Yeah, it's um, so that's, scary. That's got to be the third or fourth wave that is going to die to this tower that Unambitious hasn't even gotten experience on, let alone the the gold from the CS. Yeah, Aaron practically has solo laner stats right now. If I were to be uh, keeping it keeping it a buck with you, this is pretty much just the shy right now. If I'm being real. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see the back. That was the blind cue. Yeah, get owned from Vital. 
get owned. No well backing. done. Gonna reset the tempo there a little bit after Poor Man's Rose. Feeling a little more comfortable. He might actually be forced to TP after that, honestly. Well, we see uh, Winnie after the back is getting the nine minute uh, umbral play, which is actually a huge buy in this state of the game just because of how necessary this early warding is. We're gonna, s okay, good minute again, it's fine. It's not, it's not Sky Tech. He will not always hit those, I fear. Maybe no, he has absolutely to take a little bit not. Of does have the ultimate here. He's gonna go for a nice flash over Wait, Sky Tech's mid ult. Unambitious. I, I don't think he should have pulled out there. I think he could have continued the fight. Oh, but well, wait. And he's gonna go he the kill. way of uh, Wisconsin Madison, but I, I think I'm Unambitious kind of trolled his, his support oh, okay. there. Okay, okay he actually did land the Q. That is so huge. Both those kills are actually gonna be going on to Earth Go Smurf, which I definitely don't agree with. It's because right. Uh, I feel like. You just want to maybe uh, accelerate Yasuo's mythic here, especially with how behind he is versus this Kalissa. But I feel like with a fight like that, you kind of just have to end it as soon as possible. You do not right, exactly. give any room for anybody to even get a reverse kill at that point, or a reversal kill, at, rather. But honestly, this is huge for uh, Wisconsin Madison, despite it uh, still being 5k gold down, because now they actually have a way back into this game. Yeah, that's been a very strange thing about this entire series, is that it feels like the teams are much closer than they are, and then you look at the scoreline, and it's it's 5,000 gold. Oh, he actually kind of him. Absurd. Winston is in trouble here. Earth goes Smurf looking for that kill. Unambitious oh, as find well. This. Sky Tech not having on the right person, help. though. Oh, Vital almost gets a solo kill, but the flash out from poor man. Winston might have gotten it out. No, he Are does get a little played bit back here. Here comes Strompus picking up one kill, flashing out. Oh, Strompus wait, if he ease? The second for Winston. Flash nah. forward for Winston gets a oh, triple buddy, kill. The and the Lamb's respite keeps him alive for a little bit longer. Does he get the quad? It's the quad, kill? dude. Just give it's it the to quad. Him. Just give it to him. It's he the quad, indeed. It's a clean ace. No one dead as the solo bolo for Vital after that flash play in the top lane. And a quadra for a kindred who is so rapidly accelerated. I was joking at the break about a 15 minute FF with the uh, uh, the Callista bot lane. Eight kill. Oh, but here it kindred comes. Kindred is a little disgusting. Aaron in some trouble here. Kind of overextended. Flashing out. Oh, but wait, he has. Uh, and he oh. does not have enough. He did for a turn kill. Yes, yeah. he does. Kept alive by Sky Tech Flash. Boy from Earth Coast Murph picks up that kill though. A lot of kills onto Earth Goes Smurf. You know, you're kind of mentioning you don't really want. He has to get the blast cone here as much as oh, okay. Ocean. But he's he, this is a really strong Graves, nonetheless. Yeah, this Graves is currently now six and zero. Oh, we're gonna be looking towards this lethality build, which I do agree with, just because of how frail this uh, blue side is going to be right. looking. We are gonna be looking towards these next eight minutes of the game. So maybe we're just gonna go for something like the Eclipses to try to burst them down in fights. We saw them uh, actually try to do, uh, burst somebody down in a fight, like I've been saying. But uh, they just kind of actually get the kill. They were just sitting there at like 5 HP and also just because Kindred ulti, LOL, XD. But besides that, it feels like if they can even get those Graves into a, uh, Graves into a fight, it feels like it can be winnable just because of how well and unambitious it has actually even been playing these duels or these fights rather as well. I'd still really like to see the Kindred stacks if we could because um, I feel like he's got to be in that first turn in uh, at the very least has four. Oh, great cast gonna throw out. Oh, but uh, it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say there's no. The oh, but it doesn't matter. The title is still behind enemy lines. Winston picks up uh, his ninth kill. You know, I feel like after the kind of closeness of game two, Slews decided that they're gonna make it into the round of 16 no matter what. Unstoppable onslaught from Poor Man's Rose. Trying to pick up kill on the Vital. Winston actually <laughs> gets oh? chopped down by All the right. axe. Winston's here and he can't really do anything about it. Uh, a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of an in from Vital, but you know, it's all good. Uh, my jungler is still 9-0, so hopefully we still win this right. game. <laughs> so we are talking about the gold difference earlier in uh, game one, but it seems like we're going to have a little bit of a repeat going on, because this is a 10k gold difference. It's seemingly going to be accelerated to maybe even 12 after they try to, if they do try to get this top side for the plates. Yeah, to do just but it a seems little like, oh, bit. Oh no, that sign is, oh, maybe dead if they can try to get can't to even, Can't even get the math out. Uh, and Hot will take over onto Poor Man's Rose, picks up yet another kill. It's still gonna be fighting here. Camp that bush and Anderson Pack. Oh. Great hook there. Picks up a return kill onto Sky Tech. The tier one tower is still alive, by the way. Unambitious looking for this to be a massive Exhaust shutdown. It'd be a thousand gold shutdown. He does have it indeed. He gets, it go oh, to? but it goes into Ooh, wait, hold on, this could be really good. Probably goes Where's to the go wrong through, person. Trump is on Earth Goes Smurf. Can he 1v2? Oh. Actually, Wait a minute! Not really. 
that was actually so huge for them, actually. Even though it does end up being, like, a little bit lesser in terms of the uh, trade, we're actually going to see a little bit of an extended fight going out right here. Yeah, I don't Bile think it's going to end up in a kill. If he wants to. Unambitious has no flash. Oh, no! Just a trade kill. Vital looking on to camp that bush. Now he's going to get stunned up. He's pretty squishy oh, as the no. AP Greg is, but he's also pretty dang strong as he picks up a double kill. It was so going it, so well. Uh, undeservedly, honestly, <laughs> to be completely fair, I, that was really just uh, aggressive and unrealistic backing from both Unambitious and Camp That Bush. Should have, should have kind of walked it out a little bit better. I, I man, I wish Yasuo had picked up that 1K bounty. Dude. It went on to the Anivia, which I was saying it was going to be good, maybe, but it seems like in chat they're talking about how he has 200 ping. So maybe not, but either way, he's getting closer to Mythic. At least if he can get it before, like, 16, it'll be fine. It'll still be a little bit playable. But uh, considering that Trop is actually going near his second main item now, it's looking to be a little bit more of a gap than we thought. Trump is in trouble here as Perman's Rose too. has ulted onto him. Anderson Pack here as well. He does have Flash. He needed to Flash before oh, the Oh, but here it comes. He flashed too early, needed to wait for the hook to come out. Vital just picks up a kill. A res. And Not Aaron waits matter. for the res. A little BM there on his 6-3 and 2 Kindred. And Vital looking way more comfortable on this pick than on the uh, Pantheon. Oh, no. He is definitely Dude. dead here. Oh, and it goes on the wrong person again. Person. Unfortunately, so much gold. Really just should be on Earth Goes Smurf and on Ambitious, but it's just really not here. Skytech and Aaron now trying to clean this up. Aaron does have two items. Give me a lot of damage onto these tanks. So many spears. Oh, they got Path so about, actually. It could be targets. huge if the TP comes out. Sky uh, Anderson Pack, I almost said Skytech will comp that bush. Does not have a, his stun up, I think. A double kill there for Aaron. It's going to be a triple kill. TPing into his own death, and Aaron should be able to just kite this one out. It was looking so good after that top lane scuffle. I don't... Oh, but it seems like a bit... Oh, actually going to go for the extended the fight. What are you doing? Why did he EQ that was so poorly played? Unfortunately, I don't even know why he was there, guys, to be honest. Uh, but that had to have been an EQ. You know what, guys? Sometimes we do have bad games. Um, it's true. Everybody has a bad game. It's okay. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> I don't should get run down here. I, I know oh. he's pretty strong, but it is a 2 oh, no, I think he one. gets out. I think he gets slowed by... Oh, no, he doesn't actually have to blow the flash. Actually, jukes both things. Oh, my gosh. Looking like Civ HD. A little bit of a throwback. With all the yokes that you got on that Gragas with that E. It seems like Urpus Smurf, despite even not getting any of the early shutdowns, though, is going to get the shutdown on the Vital, which is going to be good. Because as much gold as he can get, it's going just to be... The best thing for University of Wisconsin Madison right now. Yeah, it's really on this gra Graves right now. His team has been set pretty far behind. Fifteen thousand gold. So my point was a few moments ago. The to total gold now is seventy-five thousand gold. Fifteen thousand of that is the lead, which would be, of course, twenty percent of the lead of the total gold is the lead. It's a massive. Oh, lead we got the here max queue. Poor man's Rose trying something here, but I, I don't think much is going to happen. He does oh. have some help. Oh, oh. Anderson Pack misses Actually just hits it. barely. Poor man's Rose might be in some trouble. Winnie, I don't know if he really wants to 1v5 uh, He has ulti here, so he gets it. But here's a huge out. hostile takeover onto at least two members, maybe three. The cast goes out knocking the rest out, and Wing gets kind of bailed out both figuratively and literally by Skytech uh, and the, the champion itself. What is the name of that champion? Uh, Renata. Renata Glass, thank you. That one. Uh, totally knew That's that. That's the one. Um, three items here, though, for Aaron. It's looking pretty rough. Top tier, uh, top inhibitor goes down, and actually the Rift Herald is also available. Unambitious might be able to turn around. I'm not just sure yet. He needs someone to get him a knockup. He's probably not going to be able to do a Q2. It's seeming like Who's it's just over. looking for the end here? The sub-19 minutes is very possible. Vito kind of goes down, but it's trade kill onto the mid laner. Flashing forward is ambitious, unambitious in his ambitious, and it's probably all lights out though as Aaron picks up a quad. Wait, kill. they gotta die for the pencil. Are pencil. they going for the pencil? Give it. That's Give the it. real question. Come Trump on. Just it up. I think Come he's on. giving it over, and there's the pentakill. Anderson Pack playing 
Good guy for Slu to close out the pentacle on Aaron's signature pick. Game number three. Yeah, that is going to be GG's well played. That is a swift 3-0 from Slu. Literally, I think that was about a 20-minute average of games. If not, we're nearing like the 21-22 mark. But at that point, you may as well just round it down. Yeah, no, de definitely a very speedy run. Obviously, if you pauses here and there uh matt do you have any kind of closing words for us that's a slew sweet baby that's all i can say oh my goodness that's bot lane i think was a maybe a little bit of a gap but it's okay yeah because no. i feel like they're probably just the one of the best bots in this uh conference honestly in the northern conference if not just the best bot lane if i'm willing to say it do i dare say they're the best bot lane right now i think i do dare say it yeah, I would agree. Skytech definitely on fire all series. Aaron, I would not let him get Callista ever again. No way. Uh, because it was a completely different game than game one and two. But folks, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. That was Matt. I am Norendus. Uh, this was SLU Univers St. Louis University. Can't, don't call it SLU. Against v versus University of Wisconsin Madison. A clean 3 0 for St. Louis University. We will see you guys next week for the round of 16. Thank you all very much. Hit follow, hit subscribe, hit like, check us out on Twitter and all that stuff, and have a very good Sunday evening. Evening.